All right, what up, Fantastics? Alexa here. Greetings from Coca-Cola, Finland. That's my hometown, and you can see the city hall on the background. And yeah, today I'm just going to show you around my hometown, kind of a walk around, kind of the same stuff what we did with um, in Bali on Helsinki. And I, I apologize already because it's kind of windy. I hope it's not completely gonna whack up the audio, but I hope we can get at least some decent action today. So let me know in the comments, and I actually hope everyone actually can join join this stream before I just like talking to myself here. Let me know in the chat if everything's going right, if you can actually see me, and let me know also where you're watching this stream because it's always cool to know where fantastics are watching. Man, I hope, I'm sorry, <laughs> really concerned about the wind, but it should be fine. So I guess at least yeah, okay. So I guess someone is actually reaching or getting reached by this tree. Sure, okay, and let's just wait until some people get on the stream and then I can actually start walking around here and showing you a little bit of my hometown. Like, But uh, Kokkola is not really sort of specific town and I'm not even sure if I would like recommend to check it out. I guess if you're like in the area and you have like some extra spare time, like I guess like a day trip here would be okay. But yeah, I've actually done one vlog before of Kokkola uh, before. You can actually, I think I'll put it in the description uh, of this uh, stream. And yeah, okay, we have actually, it seems we are 20 people. Let me know in the chat where are you watching this uh, stream. And Saika is already telling that I'm going to be going back home next Thursday. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm, I've been here for like five days because my parents still live here and so on. And Christina Hilton is also here. Moikka moi, tervetuloa. Okay, well, I guess it's not worthwhile waiting. Oh, now we're getting some. Edna is watching from Mexico, currently in Germany, was in Kokla three weeks ago. Wow, I guess actually I'm quite surprised if someone actually finds their way to Kokla because there's not really much to see here unless, you know, someone important lives from of you lives here or, or, so, or so on. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm here in this kind of uh, this is like a square. As you can see, it's very busy. A lot of lot of shit going on. There's a hotel. Where's my finger? And uh, like one of the only nightclubs, like over here. I've been there some few times. Not during this trip though. I'm not going to clubs that much nowadays anymore. But yeah, I'm going to show you at least a few kind of interesting, a semi-interesting places and things here. Uh, girlfriend is Finnish. Haha, all right. Hello from Germany. Hello aus Kokkola. Welcome nach dieses, diesem live stream. Hello watching from Canada. Moi from Ohio. Okay, awesome. So I guess without further ado, let me just switch to the... We can find here. So as I said, this is the square. Nothing really much to see here. Uh, there is, a, I think every Wednesday, there's like a really busy stuff and a lot of stuff, stuff going on. But today is like... Sunday, so there's not really much. There is a Asian food place. You can get something from there. And uh, yeah, so let's walk, ex exit the square, and I'll show you a few few spots here. And just some basic information: Kokkola has like 45k people. If you combine the surrounding smaller cities, uh, well, I think it's like. Uh, it's kind of like the capital of this region, like the central Ostrobotnia. And what is also kind of curious about Kokkola, there's quite a bit of Swedish speaking people here because this guy on the west coast. So you can actually hear a little, little bit of Swedish here. I, I checked that there's like around 13% uh, of the population are Swedish people, or Swedish or people who have Swedish as their first, uh, first uh, language, which is kind of interesting. And here you can find some pubs. And now I just try to cross the street without getting my ass kicked. Some Coca-Cola cars you can also see here, very interesting as you can see. Now let's move on. And here, if anyone actually comes to Coca-Cola, I strongly recommend this place. Wow, the wind is getting quite kind of bad. This place. Earlier. Uh, when I was when I turned 18, we always went to this place for pre-drinks. You can actually get some uh, pretty, well, at, at least back then, 
kind of good happy hour drinks. You can also play pool there. It's kind of like kind of like a hangout place. So if you come to Kokkola, this should be this should be the place. I also try to keep an eye on the comments, but because I'm not a avid multitasker, I'll just try my best and read your comments. By the way, hit the thumbs up if you haven't, because it will make this uh, walkthrough even more fantastic. So make sure to do that. Hello, München, noch einmal German network could be better. All right. Well, it might be also my network because I'm just going on with my mobile mobile network or mobile data. I guess that's the more uh, correct term. So let's just see. This is just the central uh, kind of central area. So I'll just show you a little bit of the central. Then I'll take a U-turn and show you something kind of more cool and more like historical stuff, which is actually kind of interesting. So Kokkola was founded in 1620. So next year they are actually going to turn 400 years, which is pretty cool. Uh, so next year is going to be kind of special in that sense. And let's see, here we have some crossing. There's actually one cool thing what I like to show you and just spontaneously i'm going to show you some other place just briefly because i think it's kind of cool i think i've showed you on my instagram also that before here is the movie theater of kokkola biorex actually if i come to see a movie i usually i might catch the movie here because it's much cheaper than in in helsinki like the tickets are like 15 euro but here it's like close to 10 so you can get some pretty good discount so I wasn't actually supposed to show you this, but because I think personally this is kind of cool, I want to just show it to you. So this uh, frog mural, actually I don't know the history, I once asked about this in a Facebook group, but this is uh, kind of, I think it was made by some students. And I mean, it's been like here for like decades, ever since I was a kid, it's been here. I don't know like what's the purpose, but it's still there. And I think it's just kind of cool, this frog mural that comes out of the, beneath the city and just trying to destroy it and everything. So kind of crazy stuff. Okay. So now you saw some Coca-Cola murals and now let's move on. It's a little bit, it's, it's actually very nice weather been today. It's been a little bit cooler, not, not like close to 30. I've been like, you know, it's been too hot recently. Unit has fast has quit. I don't even remember where it did. Oh, it's still here. But uh, yeah, it seems it's, uh, yeah, it's empty. Everything's emptied. And now let's move on. And here, ladies and gentlemen, there used to be kind of like a legendary grill. You know, this kind of place where you go after the nightclubs to get some cheap ass food before you pass out in your place but it used to burn down like some years ago now it seems there's nothing there so it's just like a piece of fence but it used to exist here it was kind of cool place here there's some restaurants i haven't even been to here but there used to be a nightclub where we used to go as youngsters i was like 18 years old you know so it used to exist here but it seems not anymore Yeah, it's a little bit windy, sorry about that, but even if I'm kind of fantastic, I cannot control the weather, at least not yet, so. What do you think of the Biorex Kokkola? Well, I mean, it's kind of okay. Uh, like I said, it's a little bit cheaper uh, than in the most bigger cities. Then we have, uh, this is kind of like a, the meeting point of the city this sale, we call it a sale. It kind of looks a sale, I guess. What do you think? What do you guys think? Does it, does it look like a sale? It's basically this big white thing in the middle of this city and here you can meet up or if you have a date, you can meet up here or whatever. You can do it here. Cool. And now we enter the busy city of Kokkola. As you can see, we have a lot of people here. Tons of people in the streets. Be careful, not keep. Remember to keep mind your personal space. 
don't let anyone invade your personal space, especially Kokkola. Here we have another Asian place. Over here, some bicyclists, people also on the go. And I have 60% battery, like I hope I was charging my phone in the toilet of the bar before doing this. Too many people. I used to see meetings, but a Thai video who was traveling in Finland. Oh, okay, cool. I think there is a little bit of these uh, internationals here. We do have an applied Apl University of Applied Sciences. Kope voitti kupsin tänä veikkausliikassa keskuskentällä. Olin katsomassa peliä, tulin suoraan pelistä tänne. So, KPV, which is the local football team, they're playing the highest level of football in Finland. I just came from their game, they won 2-1 against the team from Kuopio. And here we can see the church, we can actually go check out the church. But you can't probably see it because the sun is shining. And, but let's, let's just keep going on and I'll show it to you later. And here you can see a little bit of the local architecture. I think these houses look kind of cute. The one on the left looks a bit old. Good stuff. And uh, this is kind of like a walk. No, it's actually not a walking strip. You can drive here with the car, but as you can see, it's like this. It's like cobblestone. I don't know what you call this in English, but you know this kind of. Here's a baby store. I've actually never noticed this. This is a new one. Because I come to Kokkola maybe like four times a year That's just to see my parents and stuff. Here used to be an English pub, another like a place where people just came to get drunk. But it seems it was closed. And I guess it was partially because there was some problems with drugs, according to some rumors I heard. <laughs> Welcome to Finland. Well, Finland is not really a drug country, like I've never encountered drugs during my 30 year career in Finland. They still haven't built anything on the cheese. Yeah, I mean, I just read on the news that the, the, someone complained again against the decision, so they are trying to appeal it. Here's a cute park. I don't remember who's the fancy looking dude on the statue. I can, I can see it from here. Uh, maybe it's anti Chudenius. Yes, it is. Actually, it's Anders Chudenius. But unfortunately, I can't remember why he's so famous. He actually has his own street also here. And then we have some local streets. And as you can see, we have really busy, busy city here. But now we are actually entering to see something a little bit more interesting in just a second. Well, we have some cars actually, at least. So let's just cross the street. And here we have it. The old town of Kokkola, which is called Neristan. And this is actually Swedish, it means like the uh, downtown. And it's it's over there. Here we have also the old city hall, which is, looks pretty fancy. I think it looks pretty fa fancy, as you can see. But yeah, we, I'm going to show you the old town. It's actually quite interesting, and I think who, I'm not sure who is this this important-looking dude here. Uh, it's uh, it's a memorial for the people who fell in the Freedom War, I guess, and the city of Kokkola has put up the statue. Is that normal with the quiet street? Well, I think so, yeah, because in Kokkola isn't really that busy city. There's not really much yet. Following your video with Google Street View 2. Oh, cool, all right, that's not a problem. So let's walk into the old town. And uh, about the old town, this is actually one of the most uh, kind of widest how does it st parts of a town made of wooden houses in Finland? So it's actually quite uh, culturally significant to some extent. And actually, we can see some stuff here. So as you can see, this is called Isokatu, which means big street. 
Butte Street or whatever. And there's a small text which says like, it's the main street of the city from uh, 1700s. So this used to this used to be the shit, you know, 400 years ago. And uh, yeah, let's let's just see. I want to show you the cute wooden houses here. I think the the uh, the quality is a little bit better. Like when I did the Kallio one, it kind of it, lo it was a little bit laggier back then. But here's a bicycle store. Another bicycle store. And now I think I will take it because there's a little. Oh, just missed my step. And for example, this street is called Bormestarinkatu, which means the mayor's street. And uh, it has the name of the mayor back then. I think he. Ellen sounds like a guy. I think he used to live here. So yeah, let me show you a little bit of the old town. And as you can see, the architecture looks kind of cute. I once took my uh, ex-girlfriend from Japan here and she was like absolutely amazed uh, about the cuteness of these houses. Let me just try to get... Okay, that looks better. So as you can see, these are these kind of cute... Well, they are kind of cute in a way. Cute wooden houses. And this is where, uh, like back in the days, the seamen and the hand workers used to live, you know, kind of like the lower class. And the city, uh, the central where we just came, that's where the upper class used to live. But as you can see, these are like these cute wooden houses. That's a church. We actually didn't check the church, but well, it's just a church. We can just see it from here as well. And yeah, I think this is a little bit smoother. You can, we can see it quite nicely. Sorry about the wind, guys. By the way, remember to hit the thumbs up if you haven't on this live stream and tell your friends also to come to check out some Kokkola. So this is kind of the thing. Uh, if there's anything kind of culturally significant in Kokkola, this is probably the place to come to check out. So the old town and their wooden houses with the cute cute design to cute architecture and like I said this is one of the most like a, the widest or the biggest collection of wooden houses in Finland so it's actually quite somewhat significant I guess oh where's the focus there we go cool and there's some cute cafes there's like a coffee place but I think it's closed and I think people like regular people live in these places here is like a flea market and a coffee place and uh, some other religious place I don't know what's that actually about this antique place let's just take a left here Cool. The buildings look classy. I mean, I looked in past tense. I mean, these are not really in the in the top form. But some of these, uh, like the buildings, are from the oldest are from the 16, uh, 1700s. So built in like the 1610, something like that. And the newest in this area are from the 19th century, which is like 1910 and so on. Cool. Hello from Canada, Alexia, everyone here. Goodbye. Your way, thanks for the tour. Your hometown of Kokkola. What is the population of Kokkola? I mentioned in the beginning it's around 45k if we combine the, all the surrounding cities. But I think Kokkola itself has maybe 30,000 or something. Not quite sure. Well, it's a, it's a small city basically. We only have University of Applied Sciences, so it's not like a university city, because only the cities with the university uh, in Finland they are usually growing because the universities are attracting new people. But Fin uh, Kokkola doesn't really have anything special to attract, except these cute pink houses we have.
Okay, and next, I'll show you something more kind of cool or fantastic. I'll just try to cross the street without getting myself killed. And this river is again one of the kind of landmarks. If we can call it a landmark, it's called Sundi. And uh, back in the days, this river used to be like much higher. And there was like a huge port basically. And that's, that's the square where we started. And like boats used to come here and you know, do like merchants and trading and stuff. But now it's just like a kind of shitty old river, which has like nothing kind of cool. And I mean, it has gone, gone kind of like worse conditions, not really in top form. So, but yeah, actually, and something I forgot to tell you about is that this Kokkola, the nickname of Kokkola is the, uh, it's the city from the sea. So actually like in the 18, in the 9th century, like uh, year 800, this whole place was underwater. But slowly, you know, because uh, the, the ground is rebounding from the ice age, slowly it started to rise. And I think like in the year 1400, it was kind of like a, already a city, but you know, that's kind of the quick history of the of the city in that sense. And there's, you can see also this cute, uh, what do you call this, lighthouse. Because there is actually like a cool lighthouse which you can go check with the boat. So I think this is the one and there's also a birdie on top of it. 45k people, okay. 47k people, all right. Yeah, so that's around the, And yeah, Sark was mentioning about the new park. I'm actually going to show it to you as well. Cool. Amazing history, yeah. I mean, because we are very close to the sea anyways, if you look from the map where Kokkola is located. So... But yeah, actually, I think it's, it's a fact, you know, this used to be sea. This is like, a, a, like a little, uh, how many years ago was that? You know, more than 1000 years ago. But you know, because the ground is rebounding from the ice age, now we have this cool city. All right. And there's another kind of historical thing I'll show you in a sec. Once we just get there, I'll just try to cross the street without getting my as bumped by a car. So we are traversing along the Sunti River. And yeah, like if you have any questions, comments, just don't hesitate to type them in the comment section. I'll try to read them as much as I can during the tour. And as you can see, the river isn't really top notch, but they are trying to make it look better because next year is the 400th anniversary of the city and the city was founded by the Swedish king I believe back in the days and actually now it's gonna be kind of funny because there's a group of people doing like a picnic there or something and the thing what I want to show you is right over there so I'm going to have to look a little bit awkward but who cares I've done this many times before so, what's kind of cool about Kokkola is that there used to be a kind of famous battle during the Crimean War uh, where English, Englishmen tried to attack the city from the sea. And here is something about the city, it's called Halkokari Skirmish. Actually, I tried to show you, I think there's like an info sign about it. So let's... Oh yes. But it's like, the sign is like very crappy. But it's in English, so the tar yard. Actually, about the tar, uh, if you check out the uh, thumbnail of this stream, you saw like a barrel, of, like a burning barrel basically. And the barrel is actually a tar battle, a tar barrel. And that's kind of like the insane or herald of the city because uh, Gokkola used to be a really, kind of 
it used to be a big city, a big place. Oh, how does? Okay, now I have to <laughs> think about what I have to say. So in Coca-Cola, they used to do a lot of boats and they used tar to do it. So it was like a really big business in the 19th century. But then, since then, it hasn't been really that much. Uh, like, let me just quickly read. Tar was Finland's first worldwide trading product and the most important item to export from the town of Kokkola in the in the 17th to the 19th centuries. At the beginning of the 20th century, export began to die down and the last barrels of tar were ex exported in the year 1910. Okay, cool. And uh, the English park, it's not mentioned here, the thing what I want to show you, okay. But it's okay. Let me just show the, show the thing what I want to show you. So here, guys, I wonder if you can see it, but there's a huge boat inside this kind of glass, whatever you want to call this exhibition thingy. And what's kind of cool about this is that uh, there was a skirmish, so the Englishmen tried to invade the city by sea, but the people of Kokko managed to defend themselves, and from the result of the battle, they captured this boat from the Englishmen. I see. Well, I'm not, I think I'm not sure it's a canoe, but well, basically kind of like a canoe, and uh, it's still here. And I I heard the government of UK has paid the city of Kokkola to kind of upkeep this, you know, because it was kind of like an important thing for them. So they captured this boat from the skirmish, and it's still like displayed here. I wonder if there's any anything else like an info plate or something because I think there should be and I th and that's the reason why this why the park which we just passed like over here is called the English park because of the boat that we just captured but uh, there's just some weird concern sites and so on just trying, like an info plate about the boat and the skirmish if I could so I could tell you a little bit more how the events turn out but I there is not really one. That's kind of weird. Is it near Jakobstad? Yes, we are 30 kilometers from Jakobstad. No, I can't really find it. But here we can see something. It's in Finnish and Swedish. Like, well, you can't really see it because the reflection anyway. Okay, anyways, but that's kind of cool. I mean, do the people really care about it? Not really, because it's not really kind of special, but if you're into, into history, then it's good. Let me just check what about the... Uh, because the... Man, the sign is like crappy. Like It's like really dirty, you can't even much see what's going on there. Well, anyway, let's just keep going. Let's walk, walk along and out. There's a few other cool things here on the other side. It's the local sports hall. I used to go there a few times to the gym, especially when I was younger and still living in this city. And uh, what do I think about Kokkola? I mean, Kokkola is good for like families with kids because it's quite a compact city. Uh, all the services are close, and so on. So on. Sorry about that, but. I mean, for young adults, there's not really much to do. And I mean, like, it's kind of boring, to be honest. Especially if you come outside of Finland, or if, uh, I mean, every city probably, aside from Helsinki, is kind of small and boring. So this is like the, <laughs> this is really the literal meaning of that word. But I mean, would I move back here? Probably no. Okay, Bepina is also here. Cool, man. My cousin lives there too in Kokkola, really? Well, Kokkola is kind of... <laughs> it's kind of like a random city. Random big city in, in the west coast of Finland. Sorry about the wind again, it's a little bit... Windy. It's been kind of windy today. And here... I don't actually know the story behind these stone sculptures, but... Here is something, you can see, I think that's like an info board again. Local 
cyclists. Another local cyclist. People love calm and peace. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the thing. But I would never, at least not the current stage of my life. Oh, they, this is a little bit better. Uh, oh, the kissing bridge. I'm going to show you the kissing bridge in a little bit. Uh, maritime customs. Because I actually I haven't read read these signs myself, so I'm just going to check what's here. We can see some old photos. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, I mean, let's just not waste mine and your time for now. But here we have some quite quite steady surface rock. Cool. You can have a picnic here if you want. Yeah, like Alex said, it's perfect for raising kids and spending retirement days, exactly. And I mean, I would never... I have not, nothing to do here expect, expect, except to see my parents. Because they, they've settled down here and they are still living here, so that's pretty cool. Alright, we have 38 people. Welcome everyone who just recently joined. So I'm showing you around my hometown, Kokkola. It's a city of around 47,000 people. Kind of small, a little bit boring, but there's still like kind of cool things and most likely you will never be coming here anyway. So I thought about showing you some stuff around here and, you know, enjoying the beautiful summer day at, on, as, uh, on the go as well. Cool. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up for this stream, do it now because it will make this stream even more fantastic. So please hit the hit, uh, thumbs up. Cool. Alright, I'm walking in the, directly in the middle of the walkway, like every proper citizen does. No, just kidding. You are supposed to walk on the left, I guess. If my traffic rule knowledge hasn't crumbled down during these recent times. How hot is today? I think it's around 20. I'm still wearing shorts. But I'm wearing like this, um, this uh, my jacket that my dad had because we went to the game. And we were sitting in the spectator area which had, which had this like a... Uh, like a roof So it was and because it's windy I felt a little bit cold So that's I'm wearing it, but it's definitely enough to wear shorts, but it's a little bit windy here and like I said uh, That pay like you if you want to go to a public toilet it costs money But nowadays they have these green big ones, which is actually Free, but check this out. It's like they have like opening hours. Why do would you have opening hours on public toilet? doesn't make any much sense, so it's from 7 to 9, kind of crazy. By the way, in Finland we have this 24 system, so in the States you have this 12, like AM, PM, but in Finland we don't use that, so we have 24 hour system, like I think in many, many other countries as well. All right, some random facts for you guys there. Actually, kind of this pretty recent new park, I'll show you a little bit about that, because there's actually quite a, one cool thing here. But the sun is shining, so it's a little bit too bright for you at the moment, but... How much do I have battery? 35%. Okay, so we are halfway. I think we will have a decent stream anyways. And because I forgot to take my power bank, I was charging the phone in the bar, in the toilet of the bar, before coming here. So this is like a new park, there's kind of this theater thingy, and then this kind of like a orange thingy and then this like an arc and this is player where oh, it, oh. oh it started to speak quite a big button oh you can press and hold what is it doing 
Oh, we started. We started to speak Swedish. Whoa, I, I come. <laughs> Whoa, we're starting to play some music. Cool. <laughs> like I, I wasn't expecting it to, to start to play music. So but yeah, it's just kind of this art. Oh. Ja, det är en live stream. Ja. Semmonen är 17 000. Mä teen niin englanniksi niin suomalaisesti. Tämä on 17 000 ja. Se on niin Alex himself. Videos about Finland. Mä teen niin kuin Engl... No, käykää kattoo. Mä teen niinku... Mä teen niinku kaikkee niinku suomee ja suomalaisen kulttuurin liittyen niinku englanniksi. Mä alun perin kotosin täältä, mut en mä enää asu sillä. Mikä se oli? Se on semmonen ku Alex himself. Okei. Okay. Onko se liveä? Joo, tää on liveä, joo. Moro. Moro, moro. Joo. Mä näytän vähän tätä... Mä... No, tässä on nyt 31 seuraajaa tai katsojaa nyt tässä streamissä. Siis on mulla kunnon kamera, mutta mä niin kun pystyn striimaamaan niin suoraan tästä. Mä, mä yleensä teenkin semmosia kunnon, ns kunnon tavallisia videoita, mutta sitten välillä mä striimaan. Siis mä oon täällä alun perin kotosi, mutta mä oon käymässä vanhempia moikkaamassa tässä näin. Sen takia mä vähän näytän tätä uutta aluetta ja tälleen näin. Mä käyn nyt kattoo. Siellä on, siellä on ihan tota... Se on niinku ulkomaalaiselle suunnattu sisältöä, mutta kyllä sitä suomalaisesti kattoo ja totta kai Joo, kaikki. Eikö se ole Joo. Mä, mä, elikkä Alex, niinku ihan miten nyt kiertot Alex ja sitten himself. Tai välilyönti himself. Mä voin tulla vaikka kattoo, että se menee löydät sen sieltä. Joo, se eka siitä. Ja, ja se ensimmäinen. Ja. Niin se on, se on se striimi, mikä näkyy täältä nyt. Yeah. Okay, so like some kids kind of got curious about what I do, and they were asking, asking like, no ne. Hello. I'm so many tall the pole at me ne. No ne. Super. Okay, but I'm at the end of the month. Yeah, I'm going to have a good weekend for everyone. Yeah. 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 So some kids were kind of they asked like if I'm a YouTuber and stuff and I said like yeah and then they kind of like oh what are you doing and stuff but you know every time when you're dealing with kids like you kind of have to be a little bit careful if they can be on the video you know but there was just a quick glimpse and there was nothing really wrong about that but that was kind of funny they asked like how many subscribers do I have and yeah, but about the park, uh, here's the ice cream stall, I think it's closed. And uh, I don't even know what, they, there's kind of like a lot of like random things and they even planted these uh, new plants, trees, so you can find these. And this is a very really popular place to come to play Pokemon Go as well. Unfortunately, I, I kind of quit Pokemon Go since the beginning of the year because it, it, there wasn't really much to do anymore in the game. Okay, who, he will have more followers soon. Oh. It's so quiet. Is he alone in the city? Well, pretty much. That's how Kokkola is, you know. There's not really much to see or... I mean, it's kind of like a... It's, I wouldn't say deserted, but... You know. Kids look ar adorable. I think they were kind of fun. Oh, well, what's happened? Here's like another cool bench. I think you can also grill something there in the middle. Not quite sure. Have, have you ever and Linda? Actually I haven't. Kick biker gangsters. What's going on? Yeah, alright. Yeah, if I missed some of your comments, questions, just don't hesitate to write them again because you know, I'm walking, holding the camera, trying to hold the camera in a way that it makes sense for you, and then try to speak. And also, 
mind the surroundings at the same time and read the comments also. But here, this is like one of the coolest things. You can see again some kids doing some stuff there. And uh, let me just go around. That, that's the sign I want to show to you. It's like a skate park. And yeah, so this this park is like holy hakka. And I don't know what happened to the to the sign. Let me just get a little bit closer so I can show it to you. Uh, someone has just like <laughs> rotated the sign, so it's like the Finnish name is Holly without with the Y being an I, but they kind of made kind of funny like a uh, word play that's like Holly, like Hollywood and Hakka. I think it's kind of cool idea. And now it's just like a basically like a skateboard or the skate park where people are kind of just you know doing this cool stuff. Do kids like to stay in the town when they are kids? Uh, I guess so. But this is like a cool place where they can just come to hang out and do some skate park, skateboarding stuff. Okay, cool. We are 41 minutes already in. Wow. So I'll try to show you a few more places before my battery runs out. We have 30%. Okay, I think that really, should be enough. By the way, are you enjoying, do you like these walking tours? Let me know in the, uh, in the comments or in the chat. Like, if you like this, if you like this walking tours, type fantastic in the comments or in the replays. Let me know, so. Just try fantastic if you like these kind of walking tours. Someone just drop fantastic, but that's also fine. Fantastic, we have, well, I let's say four. Well, we got four fantastics or fantastics, at least. So I guess that's better than nothing. Oh, now we have few more. At least I like absolutely fantastic. What's up, Alex? Can't wait for the meetup next week. Oh yeah, guys, I'm doing. A, if anyone's in, if if anyone is in Helsinki, I'm doing like a meetup next Saturday when in Helsinki. So if you're around, if you're gonna hum, want to see me and maybe grab a few drinks or do something just kind of casual, that would be cool. Moving to Kokkola in September for a year. Wow. For for if I if I may ask why what's the reason I I would assume it's like a study related, fantastic fantastic, yes, fantastic. Okay, cool. I wish I could be there. Hopefully, of course I'm in Kokkola when that happens. Ah, uh, well, I mean the problem it would get probably is that I I just gave like one week no this time. I guess I could also postpone it, you know, because I got a few few comments like, hey, I'm just coming to Helsinki like the week before, can we postpone it? So let's just see if that's something I should do. But yeah, well, anyway, I'll just keep you posted. At Villa Elba, oh, yeah, Villa Elba is actually a pretty cool place. Question, do Finns need a visa to visit Russia? Yes. You can actually do this like a three day visa free trip as well. But you have to do it through a, like a travel agency. But print in principle, yes. You need, we need a visa. All right, so now we're walking on the sand. Oops. There's a lot of kids on the move. Well, because the schools don't start like until two more weeks. So I guess they're just enjoying life. Carefree life, you know, remember when you were that young? The only problem, the only worry was that were you able to, were you willing to buy the new Super Mario Crash Bandicoot game, you know? Those were the worries back then. And guys, this is the Kiss Bridge, 
which we mentioned. So I don't know why this is called the kissing bridge, Busu Silta. But I guess couples come here to kiss. And actually, I remember once my first girlfriend, who also lived here when I lived here, I think we did come here to kiss, you know, not for the first time though, but like in general. But yeah, let me just try to switch the. And this is how it looks. So this is the the kiss bridge. And actually, I just noticed there are some some uh, locks also, like you know, locks of love. <laughs> actually, I never noticed that someone would actually bring locks of love to this bridge. I guess it makes sense though, because it's the kissing bridge. There's actually quite a few, but yeah, I think this is kind of like a silly stuff, but because it's kind of just make the it just costs like rust, you know. And, and such. Okay, we have one more place to go, and I think that's pretty fantastic. Let's take the adventure route. I just hope not to try to get my ass whacked. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. The girls will be lining up to kiss you. Yes, all the girls, single girls, come to kiss me. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh, I was in Helsinki one month ago. I hopefully next time I'm there, you'll do another meetup. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of difficult to time it in a way that everyone can attend. But I guess I should should come up with some kind of strategy, strategy, strategy. You know, maybe post like a poll. You know, people can poll what's the best date and so on. So then I would have a little bit better. I could screen the possible times. Yeah, the next cool thing uh, here on the right, we can see the Venevayat, which are the boat shacks, I guess. Unfortunately, I forgot to check the history behind this, but this is actually another kind of like a historical kind of area. They are still in use, but it's like a cool area with a lot of these cute red houses next to each other. And last year, when it was this Finland 100 thing, this area was also nominated one of the important places for that uh, centenni centennial year in Kokko. All right. Actually, I just realized because when I finish the stream, I have to walk back to the back to the center because I left my bicycle there. But well, it's not that long way. Oh, that was a bicycle with thick thick uh, wheels cool all right it looks so peaceful well this is very peaceful if you want to call them peace that's 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 all you get in Coca-Cola all right Yeah, here you can see the boat shacks. So because the sun is there, I think that okay. I guess I can probably figure out the history because you know this used to be like a port back in the day. So people, this is where people put their boats because it was kind of easy to storage. So we can actually check. Yeah, here you can see actually swarm of 100. Uh, here we can see who were uh, the previous owners. A doctor, a fish, fisher, honestly, I don't know what's this in English. Judge, uh, this is just a name, and then just names. All right, that's pretty cool. All right. All right. All right. Um, by the way, once, once, before we reach the next stop, you can ask me some questions, comments. Have you been to Hamelin? I think someone already asked it. Uh, no, I haven't actually been to Hamelin yet. Maybe I should go check it out. All right. All right. How much do we have battery? 
Oh, 21, okay. So let me just try to speed up the walking and so we get to the final pit stop of this tour. This way I can experience the Finnish lifestyle more. Actually, um, that's a good point because uh, I mean Helsinki, you know the capital, it's kind of big. It's pretty cool, there's kind of a lot of interesting stuff to see. But if you ask me, if you want to experience the real Finland, the authentic Finland, you know, with these nice walkways, rivers and stuff, I think you should go outside of Helsinki because Helsinki, is, Helsinki has become kind of like a huge metropole basically. So if you want to see a little bit of the authentic side of Finland, I mean, that's definitely what something you should do. And that's kind of like something what I'm kind of showing to you right now. Helsinki doesn't represent Finland at all. Well, it does, but it's it kind of represent it's a kind of another's perspective. So those buildings that you have shown since the beginning are have are officially opening or still being used by someone. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, in the beginning, I think some people people actually still live in those. And some some have like a coffee place or, you know, that kind of thing. So I think they are still in use some way. You have 36 fantastic. That's actually pretty cool. Nice. Nice. Okay, a little bit more to go. How much we have better? Still 21%. Awesome. By the way, I guess here I can just mention that if you haven't followed me on Instagram or if you haven't joined our free Facebook group, fantastic Facebook group, you can find the links in the description. You can join for free. You can follow me for free. I'll try to show you a little bit of finishness from my everyday life in case you're interested. So it's free, so why not to give the f do that? Nice. Here we have a quite all right. Fantastic. We are back online. I don't know what happened. I just got like lost connection and now we are back online. Okay, Alexander Laura says, well, you know, Helsinki does represent the country, but like every capital, it's more cosmo cosmopolitan than other cities. Uh huh. Interesting argument. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's kind of like the capital. I kind of ag agree what Laura, uh, Alexander says said in that sense, but I still stick to my stick to my uh, opinion that like true Finnishness is like somewhere else. So I think it's getting a little bit windier because we are approaching the sea. We have 18% battery, I think it should be fine. I don't know what happened just a moment ago, like my... Uh, I just got like lost connection and then I tried to resume it and luckily it worked. By the way, I remind you again, if you haven't hit the thumbs up for this live stream, do it now because it will make me, you, and the stream more fantastic. So. Make sure to do it. Here we can see some cute boats. So if you wanna get a nice boat or a yacht, you can come and brag, brag to people here. Nah, no, just kidding, you know. Bragging is not what Finns like to do. Cool. Cool, all right. Okay, we're almost there, and my battery is almost finished as well. And then I just have to walk back to the center to grab my bike. Luckily, Kokkola is very compact. The distances are quite small, so I don't really have to go that much, like a long way. Once I get my bicycle, then it's like less than 10 minutes and I will be home 
quite soon enough. Okay, last stop of the tour is coming up. Brace yourselves, hold your seats, fasten your seat belts. Oops, and I think that's the battery saver. I hope it's not gonna impact. wind again all right so now we are here guys last pit stop of Kokkola and I think this is a quite cool place for a number of reasons god damn sun sun is trying to ruin our live stream but We'll be fine, we'll be fine. Yeah, so here is a burger place, which is actually kind of, it's a good location. Because we are just next to the beach and the sea. You know, this is the sea, guys. We can see Sweden from here. Well, not really. But Sweden is right over there. So let's just go around this place. We can get some burgers here. I actually grabbed a long drink with my dad here a few days ago. The tourist information in a place like this. That's kind of funny. And I, I've got so many looks on this trip like why is this guy talking to the camera walking walking around yeah actually here's a cool map let me show you so here's that's where we are now and you can take a boat which is actually this boat right here to this uh place called tankar Way, way up there, even I cannot reach it. And there's like a cool uh, lighthouse. So here you can see kind of the map of the local area. So Kokko is here. Can we see Pietasari? No, we actually can. Yeah. So this is kind of like the archipelago. Take a cruise. Like I have never taken the cruise myself, but uh, that's something you could do during the summer. Let me show you a little bit of the sea. That's the Jenny boat, which you can use to do it. You can see some uh, windmills, big ass windmills over there. Thanks for the nice tour. I'm heading to sauna soon. <laughs> Scotland, hyvältä from Kokkola, hyvältä Kokkolasta. Cool. And you can actually walk all the way to the tip of the uh, whatever you call that, I don't know. But here you can see the sea. Not really, I'm not sure if there's much to see, but if we just keep heading that way, we'll eventually reach speed. And that's why it's so windy here as well, because you know. The sea is near. And here is a popular beach. We call this area the camping site, the camping area. Layer in the Alue. Because there is a camping area actually, if we just go that way. Alright. I think I will sit down and if you have any more questions, I can take an answer a few quick questions and then uh, we'll probably have to. Can you go swim in that sea? Yes, of course you can. I think that sea is quite water, warm because it's been really warm nowadays. There's a lot of... Now because it's quite late, it's, there's not, not many swimmers there, but if you come like during the day, you can actually see a lot of people swimming. From kids to adults. What is your favorite place in Kokkola? Huh? I think Palmahovi is probably the one. Like if you go to my Instagram and see my latest photo, I think that's pretty cool. It's actually like quite 
it's like a few kilometers from the city it's a really nice swimming place uh, some people can even do like weddings there if they want uh, and I used to swimming often and I did that also a few days ago so but yeah uh, if you want I can answer a few quick questions before we have to wrap up this and I think I'll just walk oh you can also play frisbee golf I can see the basket from over there You know guys, I sometimes I've been thinking of if I should do like a proper like a, you know like a really long ass live stream like let's say uh, like a bar night, you know, or something like this. Like stream everything that happens, you know. It would be quite interesting to see like how how things would turn out. But I have to probably invest and like boost up my streaming gear. Because, well, I think the stability is quite nice. I have a tripod, but I should get a proper or better mic for my uh, phone and so on. Okay, now we have a few questions. A few questions, but, um, but they have the opening and closing time, right, for going to the swimming park. Uh, no, it's a public beach, so anyone can go there anytime they want. Like, that's how it works in Finland. Did the heat wave affect Finland? I heard some news about it, British from Spain. Well, the biggest effects were pissed off people, a lot of sweat, a lot of thirst, you know, this kind of effects, I guess. And so on. How much battery we have left? 7%. Okay, guys, now I have to, we have to probably wrap up this. So, uh, a few more quick questions and then we then we have to wrap up. Remember, I just quickly remind you again, like, check out the Facebook and the Instagram. I haven't done that yet. You can see more finishness there on that account, on those accounts, on those pages. But yeah, okay, now let's see if there's any more questions. see the northern lights actually not really that's something I should do but you know you can't really see northern lights that easily especially if you live in the southern part how is the public transport outside of Helsinki area well it depends what you mean are we talking about just uh, very close in Helsinki or like all the way to Kokko usually in other cities it's only and in Helsinki you have like trams and metros but I mean in other cities it's usually buses Okay, uh, so I think that's awesome. Kid fall down or something. But yeah, uh, fantastic. Thanks for joining the tour. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hit the like button once more if you didn't, and uh, we'll see you probably on the next video. I think that will be next Wednesday. So thanks again, and have a great Sunday, and I'll see you next time. Moi moi.